19 Things You Didn't Know About Melania Trump Number 19. Humble Beginnings Melania Trump was born Melania Naves on April 26, 1970 in Novo Mesto in southeastern Slovenia. Although she's now known for her fashion prowess, a few know that this obsession started young. Melania's mother, who was born in the village of Raqqa, was a pattern maker for a children's clothing manufacturer called Jutranha in Sevnica. Her mother's work with clothing as well as Melania's interest in modeling helped forged her into the fashionista we know her as today. Number 18. Studying Abroad After completing high school, Melania attended college in Slovenia, where she studied design and architecture at the University of Ljubljana. Her frequent moving around has also resulted in Melania reportedly speaking six languages, including English, French, Italian, German, serbo croatian and Slovene, the last of which is her native tongue. Interestingly enough, her status as an American citizen born in Slovenia makes her the first first lady to have been born in a communist country, an ideology which classically has opposed Western politics. Number 17. Model Child Melania apparently started her modeling career at just five years old, but started becoming serious about it when she first appeared in commercials at the age of 16. When she turned 18, she signed with an Italian modeling agency in Milan. In 1992, she was named as the runner-up in Jana's Magazine a Look of the Year contest, which netted her a potential international modeling contract. She would go on to be featured as a model in the 2000 edition of Sports Illustrated's famed swimsuit edition, as well as to be associated associated with the modeling agencies Irene Marie Management Group and Trump Modeling Management. Number 16. Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? It has recently come to light that Melania's father, Victor Naves, may have fathered another son before his relationship with Melania's mother began. Apparently, a court battle ended in Naves being required to pay child support for a Dennis Siginjak, despite Naves originally denying being the boy's father. Siginjak, who is now himself 50 years old, still lives in Slovenia, and Melania has said that she's never met at her alleged half-brother. No word has surfaced from Siginjak to either confirm or deny the allegations that he is in fact the long-lost brother of Melania Trump. Number 15. Undocumented Claims In 1996, Melania relocated to New York City to further her modeling career and was contracted almost immediately with the help of Italian businessman Paolo Zampoli. Although she entered the United States under a work visa, it has been rumored that during this time, Melania was paid more than $20,000 for 10 modeling jobs jobs before she had legal permission to work in the United States. This has been denied, however, with people representing Melania expounding that these claims are unsubstantiated and contradict the legal record. Since there have been to date no conclusive documents proving the claims against Melania in this regard, it's likely this was merely an attempt to contrast her husband's stance on illegal immigration. Number 14. A Change of Name Melania first met Donald Trump in September 1998 while attending a Fashion Week party in New York City. Although it is widely speculated that Trump was still married to Marla Maples at the time, the two had been separated since 1997, and their divorce actually became final in June of 1998, months before Trump originally met Melania. Their romance was swift, but they didn't become officially engaged until 2004. Their marriage took place on January 22, 2005, in Palm Beach, Florida. It's worth noting that former President Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton, who was a senator at the time, both attended the Trump wedding. Number 13. 13. Traditionally Supportive During their courtship, Melania helped Donald Trump campaign in his initial bid for the presidency, which took place in the year 2000. Trump was campaigning under the Reform Party, a center-right third party which aimed to challenge conventional political ideas. During this time, Melania was asked what kind of first lady she would be if Donald Trump won, and she responded by saying that she would be a very traditional first lady, like Betty Ford or Jackie Kennedy, and that she would support her husband. This was exemplified during the inauguration, which she attended in a blue dress which was immediately compared to outfits the notoriously fashionable Jackie Kennedy wore during her days as the first lady. Number 12. Ducking Popularity In 2005, Melania appeared in what has gone on to be one of her most famous and infamous modeling jobs. She starred in a commercial for the insurance company Aflac, alongside the much-loved and much-hated Gilbert Gottfried and his abrasively voiced duck character. She claimed during an interview that her purpose in the commercial was to give Aflac some sex appeal. Since the 2016 election, the commercial has gone on to be something of a viral sensation online, accruing millions of views on video streaming websites like YouTube and Facebook. Number 11. Mother Melania 
Her marriage with Donald Trump has resulted in just one child. Baron Trump was born March 20, 2006, and is now 10 years old. Although she takes great pride and responsibility in raising Baron, they do not use a maid for their son, despite having plenty of wealth with which to do so, she is far from a clingy mother. Baron Trump has his own floor in the Manhattan Trump penthouse. Melania has said that this stage of a child's life is crucial to have a parent there for him, and with her husband's new responsibilities, she intends to continue raising Baron. Number 10. Official Business as is common and expected when dealing with anyone who bears the Trump name, Melania has become something of a business mogul in her own right. To date, she has launched her own jewelry collection in 2010 and her own line of skincare products in 2013. With these businesses and the aid of the Trump name, along with her profitable modeling career, Melania has amassed a personal net worth of more than $11 million to date. It's unclear what her involvement in her businesses will be going forward since she could potentially create a conflict of interest by promoting products as the First Lady of the United States, a position which could be seen as giving her an unfair advantage. Number 9. Powerful Kindness when she isn't busy with her duties as first lady, modeling for high fashion, running her own successful businesses, Melania Trump is well known for her charitable nature and desire to help those in need. She currently supports several charitable organizations, including the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, the Police Athletic League, and the American Red Cross, among others. In 2008, Melania was asked to participate in the fifth annual Love Our Children Day and the beginning of National Child Abuse Prevention Month by ringing the closing bell. Number eight, opulent obsession. In addition to an interest in clothing and jewelry design, Melania is also a talented interior decorator. She is responsible for many of the luxurious and even opulent furniture art and color schemes of the various properties she owns with Donald Trump. In fact, the famous three-story penthouse that Trumps lived in prior to moving to the White House was decorated by Melania in conjunction with the aid of Angelo Donghia. It's well known for being completely decked out in 24 karat gold. Number 7. The Underdog Hillary Clinton and Melania Trump share more in common than just being on opposing sides in the 2016 election, and now the title of First Lady of the United States. They are both apparently both the First Ladies who have ranked the lowest in terms of public opinion. Melania Trump so far has an opinion rating of 28%, where Hillary Clinton had an approval rating of just 32%. It's very early to tell how her rating will go. However, so for now, we'll just have to wait and see how she performs in the position of First Lady. It's also speculated that much of the public's unfavorable opinion of Melania is merely backlash to her husband's own contrasting and polarizing opinion ratings. Number 6. Rooting for the home team Melania's homeland of Slovenia has apparently taken great interest in her rise to the right hand of the highest office in the world. The Prime Minister of Slovenia, Miro Sarar, told the Associated Press that he'd like to see the United States and Russia give some initiative to Slovenia and that, in this way, Slovenia could become a bridge between the two parties. While the Russian leader, Vladimir Putin, rarely makes visits to Western nations, he has apparently visited Slovenia twice, and Russia is in good standing with the tiny nation of just 2 million. Number 5. Melania Meme Mania As is common in today's internet-driven society, Melania Trump became the subject of a viral online meme shortly after the inauguration ceremony for her husband, Donald Trump, as the 45th President of the United States. During the ceremony, Melania was seen with a blank, expressionless look on her face. When Donald Trump turned toward her, Melania's face lit up in a beaming smile, only to quickly fade back to expressionless after he turned back around. The clip was quickly memefied, appearing everywhere with captions along the lines of when you meet your boss in the elevator. Number 4. Bearing It All Melania's modeling career has even spanned some new photo shoots. This puts her in a unique position as being the first First Lady in the United States history with officially published paid nude photos available to the public. Despite many of her husband's opponents claiming that he stands against freedom of speech and expression, many of these same people have attacked Melania for having published nude photos, claiming they are indicative of a poor moral compass. This may also be due in part to one set of photos featuring Melania posing in a compromising position with another nude woman, but both she and Trump appear not to be concerned. Number three taking down the trolls. Although Melania is apparently not very highly rated as far as first ladies go, at least not yet, she has already scored a major victory. A story originally run on the website Daily Mail, which is a website somewhat notorious for running unflattering stories, alleged that Melania Trump had worked as a high-end escort previously in her life. Melania, of course, flat out denied the allegation and responded with a lawsuit against Daily Mail for defamation of character. The lawsuit claimed $150 million in damages for Melania, and after refiling the lawsuit, the opponents settled out of court 
court with an unspecified substantial sum being awarded to Melania. Number 2. Cause and Kindness Many first ladies pick a singular issue on which to focus while their husband serves as president, and Melania Trump is no exception. She's made it clear that she intends to go to war against a serious issue in our country, cyberbullying. She's quoted as saying, we need to teach our youth American values. Kindness, honesty, respect, compassion, charity, understanding, and cooperation. Though she has not made any formal announcements about how she intends to fight this problem, her track record in exuding kindness and helping those in need is sure to help her along the way. Number 1. Women Know Best Despite what some people may think, Melania is open about the fact that she doesn't necessarily agree with everything her husband has said along the campaign trail, nor in his early days as president of the United States. During an interview, she is quoted as saying, I don't agree with everything he says, but you know that is normal. I'm my own person. I tell him what I think. I'm standing very strong on the ground on my two feet and I'm my own person. And I think that's very important in the relationship. Despite these statements, she's come out in favor of some of President Trump's more divisive stances including those on immigration. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.